happy Saturday morning to everybody. Oh my goodness. I hope everyone is doing okay at least. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am feeling like today is 1,004,028 of our quarantine. Just saying. I know I'm not the only one. Oh, good morning, Mary. So happy you could join me. All right, so that's all set up. Nancy. Thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, I keep touching things. There we go. Okay. I have... Um, I know I said on Tuesday when I did coffee and cards that I would have a, <clears throat> excuse me, I would have, um, a new ding dong ditch, uh, sent to, to your email. I finally finalized what that all was going to be and we'll be sending that out. I promise Morning, Sue. Morning, Caitlin. I promise I will be sending that out today. And I wanted to be sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, you guys. I wanted to be sure that everybody um, follows my blog because, and I'm going to, morning, Kathy. I'm actually going to turn the camera up just a little bit more, so I apologize. Because I want you guys to be able to see this right here. Did I do it up enough? I did. I posted, um, good morning, Caitlin. Um, I posted... On my blog the other day, I actually made this sign and I um, walk you through the whole entire steps of what I did. So if you do not follow my blog, then either shoot me a private message so that I can get you added to my email list or you can go to the whispersandink.net and either on the side, if you're on the your laptop or if you're on a mobile device, it's all the way at the bottom of the page. You can sign up to be sure to be on my email list. Morning, Tracy. Morning, Lynn. Good morning, Mary. Oh, Mary, honey, you are so welcome. I'm glad that you got it. I hope that you liked it. Oh, that's what I am... Mary is a friend of mine from Illinois, and we used to do animal rescue together. <laughs> um, and I sent out a birthday card. So Mary, just to give you a heads up, Mary Dockert, um, um, I have been really, really trying to send out more cards. I make cards, we do cards live all the time. So I've been trying to make sure to mail more cards. So I'm so happy that it made your day. That was my intention. So let me see. Oh, thank you for posting that link, Caitlin, to my website. Um, good morning, Holly Crafter. I just wanted to um, take a minute, check in with everybody here first, and then we're gonna go around because I got two projects. We're doing projects today. And I'm excited. Um, I actually cased, so ca uh, copy and selectively edit, um, two projects, both of them, from two different demonstrator friends, and I'm very, very excited because one I saw last night and the other one I saw the other day, so I am very excited to sh share with you guys all that stuff. Um, I wanted to remind everybody that um, here's one of the projects that we did 
last time on Coffee and Cards, this super cute little ladybug. And I, um, I did spend some time doing some more coloring with those. And, oh, Kathy, you are very welcome. I love sending happy mail. Um, good morning, Jen. I love sending happy mail. So I'm actually starting to work on my, um, on some more cards this weekend. That's my project every Sunday is to sit down and send out some cards. And I believe that I should have more stamps in the mailbox and I've ordered some more envelopes. So watch your boxes. You will be getting something in the mail from me. So long as I have your address. Oh, you guys, Lynn is commenting because she is one of the prize winners and got three cards, homemade cards from me. And I dropped those off because she only lives two doors down the street. So just as, and thank you, Lynn, for posting that. I, oh, I'm so happy that there was one in there that was timely that you could use. And I will read the rest of the message later, Lynn. But you are very, very thankful. But I wanted to also, with this reminder, Lynn, because I've been forgetting, you guys. I have, I have um, prizes. Prizes that I need to send and prizes that I need to be sure to get out to people. And I've been really, really bad about that. Been a little overwhelmed with things. But, um, anyways, so don't forget, if you learned something, if you learned something today, or if you want others to see what we're doing here today, then hit the button and help others to learn. And please share, I'll only say it one time, so that um, others can find me too. And I greatly appreciate that because that's the only way that we're going to reach out and help others um, be able to create and maybe um, bring a smile to somebody's face because you never know what we're going to come up with. So I'm going to go around to the other side of the table and let's start getting crafty because I don't want to talk anymore. So hold on. I would much, much, much rather get crafty. You guys don't want to listen to me, I'm sure. Oh, I see the hearts. Thank you so much. All right, guys, hold on, because I'm going to be moving the camera. Do, do, do. We should have music for that. Oh, thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. Let's see, how did I do? Did I do okay? Oh, yes, I did. How about that? All right, guys. So I didn't even give you guys a sneak peek at the table this time. Being sneaky. Being sneaky, sneaky. Oh, good morning, Monica. Thanks for joining me, honey. All right, so the two projects that we're going to be doing today, I have a sample of the one but the other one, and I have them on each side of the table. Um, Got to situate my... Um, the one that's on this side, I have the sample. So the one that's on this side of my table, I don't have a sample for. So you're going to have to be along for the ride. And we're going to do the best that we can in regards to... In regards to... Um, um, following along, I do have some, I do have some alternative ideas as well. So let's do, let's start with the one that I have the sample of so that you guys can see. This is super, super cute. This is a little bunny rabbit for treats. I didn't put treats in this time. But I used a couple of hodgepodge things and I wanna walk you through how I did this. And do you guys see what this is? Super cute, right? All right, so what this is, this container, and I'm gonna put it over here, 
is the little pillow treat holders. I want to say there's how many in the package? There's 10 in a package. How stinking cute. Oh, maybe. This doesn't want to come apart. How stinking cute are these? There we go. Oh, I see. Thank you so much. Whoever's doing all those hearts, I greatly appreciate it. So here is what you're going to need. You're going to need this and just a few supplies. All right. So this and... Oops, wrong one. We're going to need our trimmer. Trimmer, scissors, and other things. So here's the trimmer. And know that this trimmer is not going to cut all the way through this because this is a double craft paper. But what you're going to want to do is put it up to the edge and put this part, the ending, at about two inches. Now my friend Lynn, another Lynn, Lynn, my friend Lynn is the one that did this one and she had me mesmerized because, oh, it did cut it all the way through. I was so excited to see this super cute little bunny rabbit. Hers though, I kind of tweaked her edition. I'm gonna be honest because I want to make this as quick as possible. Not that she was making it hard, because she wasn't. Morning, Katie. You're going to take the piece that you cut off, the two-inch piece. You're going to trim the edge, <clears throat> and you're going to flip it over. Because I want to be able to easily see that score mark. <clears throat> and you're going to take your scissors... And you are going to cut that off. Easy, easy, right? All right. Now, I did use this only because I didn't want to deal with fussy cutting out another one of these. But let me tell you. <clears throat> if you want to do it so that there's no little notch there, have at it. Grab your scissors. It's And it's not hard. So let's say, because the other one, we have flowers on. We'll say that that one is a girl one. So let's... <clears throat> and this is one... You guys, you don't need a lot of stuff for this one. And this is one of the reasons why I loved this one. And we're going to make this one with the flower. We're going to say that's more of a girl, but let's do, <clears throat> we're going to do more of a boy one for this one. And I'm going to round out my edge just a little bit for the ear. That way then... You don't have to see for this one. I actually covered it up that you can't see the notch. But like I said, there's more than plenty. How are we doing so far? Are you guys loving this? <clears throat> Excuse me. And here's a couple of other little things. Not that we're going to be having Easter at, you know, the family's house or anything. But, 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 but. This could be something, remember we did the um, silverware holders in the fall for Thanksgiving? You could do this as well for Easter and tuck in your, you know, wrap your napkin or your silverware with your napkin and stick it in there. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. I wasn't sure if I lost you guys. And you can stick your silverware in there and this would be a cute little treat thing. But we're going to take these pieces. This is really all that you need. And I'm going to take my bone folder, my Inky Whisper Sisters bone folder. And you're loosening 
the fibers in the paper so that the ear curls. And you wanna do that to both pieces. Throwing that other stuff in the trash. I'm gonna do it to both pieces. So that it curls, both sides curl. And then you're gonna take this, you're, you want the part without the notch to be your front. And you're gonna need your glue. And what I did so that it was easier to stay open, I did close this, or yeah, kind of close it up, I guess, would be the way to put it. Just like that. And actually, I think I wanna do that that way. All right, because you want the notch so that, actually, no, you want the notch this way so that you don't have to bend it. All right, so it does go this way. Proper ways to do things. All right, let's figure it out together, right? All right, so here's the notch, because there's a notch on both sides. And you want the notch to go on the inside so that, that you can stick your finger in it to open it. Now, if you are putting treats in here, you're gonna wanna close this up with your glue so that the treats don't fall out. But I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We're going to take the ears. Let's do these ears and show you how to put those on. And we're gonna do one ear. And I'm taking out my reverse tweezers. There's one. So that I can keep working here. And then here's the second one. And I'm thankful that I have two. Holy smokes. And I did on purpose put one down a little bit deeper than the other. I hope I didn't put my head in the shot. So there's, we're holding the ears on to make sure because I love our multi-glue, but it does take a minute for it to get itself together. And so we're going to let that sit for just a minute. But I wanna talk about how we're gonna make the rest of the face. There's a lot of ways that you could do this. Lots and lots. I, however, love a nose, a heart nose. That's how we used to do it in school, remember? You used to take your little hearts, whether it be a punch or you make it yourself, and then in pink, and then there's your little bunny nose. So we're going to, and this is, oh, I don't have the label on here. This is the Follow Your Art embellishment pack, and it comes with felt, and you've got um, so saffron and pool party, coast, uh, that's Calypso Coral, and then I want to say that's Blushing Bride, but then you've got um, twine, and then there's this cute little um, trinkets. You've got some paper clips and some cute, and the, the little heart trinket that's on here, you guys, it says made with love on it. It's so stinking cute. All right, enough of for the commercial messages. All right, let's get back to this. We're making bunnies. And from the bits and pieces container, I still have this piece of burlap that I'm still working on. I'm gonna take one strand of it and I'm going to wrap it around my fingers like this. Oh boy. See, when I did the sample one, I did it like lickety split. All right, there we go. There is the whiskers. The only thing that we need to do is take our snips and cut the loops so that we have our whiskers. 
I'm thinking that, yep, our ears are done. Here's our ears. They're fastened to the back, to the inside. Now let's work on the whiskers and the nose. Again, using your multi-glue, and I did go a little crazy when I did this part because there's several strands of burlap and the felt. So you'll see I'm putting the felt, got the glue there, and then I'm gonna do some glue on the actual burlap pieces or the whiskers. And of course, my reverse tweezers are not long enough or else I would use them to hold this on. So we're gonna have to find, tell me what color eyes we wanna do this time, you guys. I did blue eyes on this one. Do we want to continue with blue eyes while I'm holding this on? Here's the glitter enamel dots that I have if you want to do those. Or what else do we have? Let's see. We could do faceted gems. I want to make sure that they're big enough to look like eyeballs because I don't think that like the regular rhinestones, I don't think that the even the biggest one is big enough. What do you think? Paula says yellow. I don't have yellow, Paula. You're gonna make me fussy cut out yellow? Caitlin says, oh no, Mary and Caitlin say the green. I could definitely do the green. I also have the Christmas ones because these were a holdover. Buttons. Kathy, buttons would be cool, but I don't have buttons. So we could do the um, the granny apple green, or we could do the garden green. I'm going with I'm going with actually now Caitlin, Mary, and Lynn is saying green as well. All right, we'll put these away. I'm thinking we're going to go with the darker green. What do you guys think? Move my tweezers out of the way. So Paula says the lighter green. I, I'm, I'm warming up to the lighter green. I am thinking maybe, okay, all right, Mary, I hear you, I hear you. All right. We'll go with the lighter green because this is a boy. You got to remember. All right. So I've got this big one right here. And that one. Making sure you guys are solid with the green, right? the same size or is this one a little bit bigger oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute oh you guys hold hold the phone hold the phone you guys i have google eyes should we do google eyes I don't even know. We could do Googles instead. So, all right. So, Google eyes or or the green eyes. Hey, Mary, get me a refill too while you're getting one. Cheers. Here's 
Here, let's see what the Google, we'll go green or Google. Actually, I think I like the green ones better, but what do you guys think? Oh, Holly says Google eyes. Lynn says Google eyes. Oh, Sue says Google eyes. Okay. Wish me luck. Let's take this one off. Oh, easy enough. Very, very good. Okay. Moving the glitter. I forgot about the Google eyes until just now, you guys. Let's get the glue dots out. Because these do not, there, there they are. These do not have adhesive on them. <laughs> oh, Mary, you're funny. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. All right, so here's the Google eyes. Oh my gosh, too funny. Love it, you guys. There we go. All right, project number one. Because I don't think, I'm thinking that we don't want, because it's going to be a boy one, I'm thinking that we don't need, we don't need the flower. We could do um, leaf in his, tucked in his, ear. How about that? Oh, I even have like the sprig punch. We could do like a sprig like that. he's got um, a piece of grass in his ear. Do that or leave it plain. I love these. These are so cute. And I'm so glad that I thought about the Google eyes. All right, I'm gonna hold my hands out of the shot so that you guys can see, because I know that it gets... I agree, Paula, a bow tie would be super cute, but I don't know, let's see. What do I have? Oh, I know, I know, I know. How about... How about here we go? Let's see if I can oh fingers are working today almost. Do a green bow tie. What do you guys think about that? Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. Do a little green bow tie. Oh, my goodness. What do you think? Got a flower and a bow tie. I'm thinking that that's super cute. I like it. All right, I like the bow tie idea. Good job, crew. There we go. All right, so here is project number one, our little bunny rabbits. So stinking cute. Love, love, love it. So we're going to put those off to the side. And I'm going to put these away because if I don't, they're going to go, it's going to be a mess. It's just going to be a mess. <clears throat> oh, the tie, I think, makes the boy one super cute. I agree. All right, so project number two. <clears throat> We're going to do tulips. And I have a bottom already cut. But I wanted to show you because with a six by 11, <clears throat> a six 
inch by 11 inch piece of designer series paper, we're gonna be able to make two of these projects. So we're gonna bring in the trimmer and I'm going to cut this in half at three inches. And this paper is from the Bird Ballard paper. We're gonna put that to the side. And then I'm gonna take this piece, which is three and a half by three and a half square. Hey Paula, tag Kareen because I know how she loves doing little projects. I wanna make sure that she sees this. What we're gonna do is we are going to score all four sides at a half of an inch. So using, and I'm gonna, sorry you guys, here we go. Using the lighter of the two blades on our trimmer, we're gonna score at a half of an inch on all four sides. You guys know how I love doing these little projects. I love these. Thank you, Paula. All right, all four, all four sides. All right. Then, yes. That is, it's Sue, no problem. It's, the birds are on the other side. And that's the stripe. I like this stripe. Um, I think it's a good Easter stripe. So, and it would be conducive to any gender, if you will. And then the other thing is, is that it was a piece that was already hanging out. Already the six by 12 was already just in there. Oh, I wanted to say, you guys, when I'm making boxes, all right, you'll notice that when I go around, I started here, and I cut all on the same side. And so this one, we're going to cut here. Hey, Penny. Oh, my gosh, you guys, say hi to my cousin Penny in Florida. So happy that you could join me, Penny. I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe down there. <clears throat> and what I'm doing now is I'm cutting off just a little notch. I was supposed to, right, Penny? Joe and I are supposed to be in Florida now. Our wedding anniversary was yesterday, but oh well. What are we going to do? All right. So we're cutting out a notch and I did this on both sets of three and a half by three and a half. Now you're going to go ahead and fold all of these and these all four sides. Easy peasy. All right. Now what we're going to do is Folding that piece that we cut off, we're going to fold that up just like that because we need to create a box. And we're going to, you only need a little bit of glue. Don't go crazy. And you're going to want to just hold it there for a second like we did before with the um, reverse tweezers. I love those reverse tweezers. They are awesome. All right. So then we need just another dip. And we're going to do all four sides the same way. Holding it on without getting glue on our fingers, hopefully. Okay. Moving on. Little dibble dabble. Creating the box. So 
So you know what happens if you put too much glue in, it squirts all over the place. And that makes a mess. Mess, 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 mess. We don't want that. All right. Then we're gonna hold that one on. The next thing you're gonna need is your tear and tape. Tear and tape. And if you don't have some, call me. I, I'm trying to think if I have some on its way, but I'm not sure. All right. So we're gonna put that off to the side for just a second because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tear and tape and because this pattern, it doesn't matter, They're, it's both the same. I have clothes pins, Paula, I didn't even think about it. I have some right here on the table as a matter of fact. I usually use um, paper clips, but clothespins are a great idea. I only have three here, so, because they were what was left out of taking that bag. I had a, I have a whole big, huge bag of them. So there's paper clips. Good suggestion, Paula. Or um, clothespins, I mean. All right, so we're gonna put our tear and tape and you guys, when you're working with the tear and tape, you want this all the way down at the bottom, just like that. And you need it from end to end. Mm, good idea, Paula. All right. There we go. Now, this, make this easier. There is your bone folder. We're gonna swipe this up and then I did uncover, I was looking for that, but I wasn't gonna stop. Our, take your pick tool because this makes, usually makes quick work of the tear and tape, which is one of the things that I love about this new tear and tape. And I have this little extra piece here. There we go. Now we're gonna take the paper clips off because what we're gonna do, and this one, you guys, take your time. <clears throat> there is no reason to rush. Because you want, and I want to make sure that you guys can see. There we go. Um, you want this all the way along the bottom of the little box that we made. There's no scores on this. It's just a matter of being patient taking a deep breath and bringing it round. All right, we're gonna keep plugging along here, taking this all the way around the box. Just like this. Now, if you guys like to make projects, like I like to make projects, tear and tape and the multi-glue are essential items that you need in your adhesive basket. Now, I messed up, you guys. I was supposed to stop. So we're gonna do this this way. Not as ideal, but will work because we want the we don't want the box to explode when we put goodies in it. <clears throat> and you're gonna trim off 
that little portion just like that. I wish I could take credit, Paula. I cannot. We're going to get that backer off. Working from this side would probably be easier. Maybe. Oh, you guys, I forgot to turn one of the lights on in the studio. All right. So there is the little basket. Let's see. Things were looking a little bit dark. All right. Here is the basket itself. But I all, now I have two pieces of Daffodil Delight, and these are a half an inch by 11 inches. <clears throat> and we're going to do the same thing with the tear and tape that we did with the Designer Series paper or the DSP. And we're going to put tear and tape on both of these, both of these. And I'll explain to you why in a minute. I told Christine that I was gonna do this today because I loved the idea. Loved, loved, loved it. There we go. <laughs> you know what? That's what it's all about, Paula. Paula, we make mistakes, but I love to show you that nobody is perfect. Because I am far from perfect when it comes to this. And it's all about being able to, to not freak out about it and fix it. All right. So we've got our tear and tape close enough to all the way around. And we're going to take this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just like this. All right, there we go. And you want to find where your back was because you want to make sure that all of your wrappings are all consistently that they end in the same spot. And we're adding this. My original thought was, is why are we doing this on the outside? But this actually adds some stability to help that so that it sits up straight because originally I was going to wrap this on the inside so that we could save this step, but you guys, it's not as stable. This um, wrapping this like this adds just enough weight to help it sit up straight. Okay. So again, taking our time and wrapping this round and round, and it does overlap. Everything, everything that I did overlaps just a little bit so that you get a nice seal and a nice clean look. And we're gonna do this is going to be the top wrap. fingers stuck on here. Same thing with this top part. We're going to do it this way. All right. 
right. Kind of like, this kind of reminds me of the old apple bushels. Round and round we go. Oops, getting, we're getting crooked. Well, it's perfect for Easter, right? There we go. All right, so there's our little bushel basket. Here's the basket. The next thing we have, I had already in my scrap bin, I want to say these are three quarters of an inch. So three. this is going to be my handle. This is eight and a half by three quarters. And we're going to take the scrap piece. I had a little piece of scrap of that same pattern. But I'm only going to use the tape runner for this part, you guys. And I am going to go from end to end because we're going to tuck the bottom part. Do, do, do. Just like this. There we go. And then I'm just going to whack off this other piece right here. We don't need that. So now we use the piece of scrap that normally I would have thrown in the trash. And then the next thing, you're going to want to loosen the fibers a little bit so that we can make the handle. The handle's going to go this way. We want our multi-glue and be sure that the, you've got your back so that you're actually putting this on the right place. And you could use, here we're gonna use the paper clip for the clothespin here. And then we're going to bring this other piece around. Just like that. All right, girls. There we go. And this one I'm just going to use my tweezers for. All right. There is the handle for our little basket. Should we decorate the basket or do you guys want to be done? I'm good either way. I know that things are moving along on Facebook pretty good today. So if you guys want to put stuff on the front of the basket, then we will do so. Because I have, I have things. I have things. Lynn, it is so simple. It is. And I didn't think of it. I will not take the credit. My, I got this idea from my friend Christine. And then I've got the bunny rabbit idea from my friend um, Lynn. So you guys tell me what you want to do. We could decorate with tulips on the basket and the um, happy Easter, happy spring, happy, happy everything is what I was going to put on there. Oh, Paula says decorate it. So if you guys have time, then I will stay on. Kathy says decorate. All right. I pulled out the Calypso Coral um, cardstock because the Calypso Coral matched the one stripe here. I didn't want to do too much yellow, Paula. I know yellow is your favorite, but. And I'm going to show you another technique here, you guys. I pulled a silicone mat and. I'm gonna show you, here's my tulip punch. We're gonna stamp what the big tulip and, oh, where's my template? My templates, 
I know I kept it. Maybe. I'm going to give you a tip, a couple of tips. This punch, and you can see, there we go. It has the tulip head, and then it has either a leaf or a layer on the tulip. Who struggles with getting this stuff lined up properly? I know I struggle. Struggle, struggle, struggle. So my tip for you today is you take a piece of scrap, and it can be cardstock or copy paper, or this is actually just white cardstock. And you go ahead and you punch out your design. All right, so what we're doing is we want to line up our pieces so that we get the stamping correct so that it's easy to punch out. That's fine, Sue. All right. Sue's, Sue's organizing and cleaning my emails. Woohoo! All right. So here is my tip take your stamp, your stamps. Here's the punch out. Okay. You want to take your stamps and you want to put them in the grooves that you punched out because you will then, it is so much easier to take your block and line it up. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Here is our Calypso Coral. And I'm gonna pull out, maybe, there it is, the Calypso Coral ink. And this is a distinctive stamp, you guys, so don't have to go super crazy with the ink. And you want to, don't forget, because it's a photopolymer, you want to hold it down for three seconds. One, two, three. And I know I've held it down for more than that. But there is your tulip image. And you're gonna be able to stick it right in here. Look at that. And it should line up perfectly. Do you see? So that you can punch it out. Done and done. But here is what I wanna show you what to do. So you're going to need an extra little piece. And this is what we're gonna do because here is our extra tulip petal. I wanna have a petal that goes this way. So how do I do that? Because there is not a reversible image for this, for this piece. How do we do that? Well, we're gonna take our stamp, and actually I need to clean this one off because I'm gonna put the one away. Oh, Lynn, no problem. We're going to take that one petal and watch what we're gonna do, you guys. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I have my ink and my one petal, the petal that we had lined up, and I'm on my silicone mat, that is key, and we're gonna stamp it on the silicone mat. Now, keep in mind, I'm gonna tell you now, this is not not, not going to be perfect. But you're going to line this up. And you're going to... Morning, Jen. 
you're going to rub this on the silicone mat and then there is, oh, that one turned out pretty dang good. There is our other tulip petal. I'm going to pull that up. Hang on one second so that you guys can see how that turned out. There's the one side that we stamped, and here is the second side. How about that? I see your gasp there, Paula. That turned out pretty dang good, didn't it? So there is your the way to make your reverse petal for your tulip. Now, like I said, it's not going to be perfect every single time. However, if you take your time, it works out pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. All right. Let's see. We have our tulip. We have our box or our little Easter baskets. There's our baskets. And we have our tulip. Let's build our tulip. And we're gonna flip these petals over because we're gonna use mini dimensionals on these petals. I, on the one side, I did only the one because we're gonna do a glue dot here. This side, however, is gonna go on top of that. So we're going to put a second dimensional on that. I'm gonna move my hand so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right. So we're going to take this one and <laughs> there there and a glue dot here and we're going to build our extra petals. Hey, Caitlin, if you're still here, when this whole mess is over with, I need you to come over because I have stuff that is missing and I can't find it. So I'm hoping that you can help me find it. So there is, and where is that? There it is. I want to show you. There is what the tulip looks like with the layers on it on both sides. We're going to bring in our leaf punch. And I forgot to grab a piece big enough. I don't think we're going to do this one. And I'm going to grab the tidbits, the bits and pieces if there's anything in there that we can use but we're going to use I know that that's not a tulip leaf and I don't want to hear about it I could put grass in there that would be cute grass in the bottom or along the bottom I have a dye for that I was just messing with that oh no it's not my dye it's Paula's dye Whoops. That would be super cute, though. All right. We're losing this leaf. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can fix it. There we go. All right. Not too bad. I got too close to the previous punch, you guys, so that's why the leaves look like that. Leaves aren't perfect. Mother Nature doesn't care. 
All right. So we have that. That's kind of too big. I wanted to have a landing page or a landing spot for this. I think that one's too big too. And I think maybe that one. I want to have a place to organize things. So we'll do this. And we'll do some leaves like that. And then I'll do the sentiment. What do you guys think? Is that up? That's up too high. What do you think? I don't mean to keep putting things too high, you guys. I'm sorry. Maybe a shorter. Well, I can tuck it in here. There we go. How about like that? And then we're going to pull in our Happy Easter sentiment. I've got to put it on the right way, however. Sorry about that, Paula. Maybe not tucked in. I think that that's, I don't know that I like that. But maybe like that and we'll cut that little piece off. What do you guys think? I like the tulip too, Sue. Thank you. I'm gonna trim up our sentiment. So are we okay with the crumb cake piece? That's what I'm, yeah, I agree, Caitlin, not tucked in. But we're okay with the, the crumb cake piece on the back, right? You guys know, you know how many of those circles I had? I had, I had, 24, I think, of those circles. And I was trying to remember where the heck they came from. Why would I have so many of those circles? And then I remembered. I remembered. Paula should remember. She helped me with them too. We sat in a hotel in Michigan I think we're gonna curl these two. Curl these up a little bit. Just a little. All right. Caitlin wasn't in the hotel, at the hotel yet though. Cause Caitlin didn't come until later. Okay, we need to move that because it's, I need it to sit flat. Need it to sit flat. So, there we go. That'll work. That'll work. Oh my gosh, Paula, you, you know, that is the one, the very first time I think that I saw you like that. 
you didn't even get that tired in Minneapolis. And I think because, I think that was because of Tammy. Because there was two of you. But Paula, I, and Caitlin and everybody, you guys, I wore poor Paula out. Totally wore her out. No, darn it. All right, so we're, here's the, here is, how about like that? And actually, oops, oh, dang it. There we go. Okay, how about there? There, how about that? Whoops. There is our second project, you guys. And then we have our bunny rabbits. Excuse my reaching. Here's our bunny rabbits. Little Easter basket. And you guys, that's a pretty big. That holds, look at, that holds um, a whole wrap of, of glue dots. Brand new. That's a brand new package of glue dots. So that little basket is a lot bigger than you think. Oh, and all right, ladies. So I sure hope that you guys enjoyed yourself today. I am so grateful that you were able to join me. I want to remind you, don't forget... Don't, don't forget that if you learned anything, you know what to do. Oh, Corinne, we did projects. Look, you missed out. You're going to have to watch it over again. So stinking cute. Oh, Sue, thank you so much. If you want, um, Sue, the blog post will have it, but I don't mind sending it to you ahead of time. Very, very easy because I know you were cleaning emails and listening. So, all right, ladies, I will see you on Tuesday, Tuesday for the Tuesday edition of Coffee and Cards. And I'm super excited. But then Thursday, so I do Paper Pumpkin every other week on Thursdays. This week, I'm not gonna do it at nighttime, you guys, because I think the internet is, very strained at night. So I think I'm going to do it again at 1030. If you cannot watch, 